Here we have two simple objects and we want to not assign a single color to it, but assign a texture to these objects. And we're going to do that using texture projection. So let me for a second hide this one by doing Ctrl H. And so we just have this one. We want some color on it. First things first, we need to assign it a material. So I'm going to right click and go straight into my favorites where I added the AI standard surface as a default shader, as a favorite. There's my AI standard surface. Let's give it some color. And you can do that by going to the attribute editor and behind color there's this checkerboard. If you click that, you get the create render node window. And the, what you want to do, you want to assign it a file. And we want to assign it as a projection in this case. So we right click on it and say, create as projection. We need to pick a file in the attribute editor, go to our file node, hit the folder thing, figure out what we want to put on there. Let's put a clown on there, a happy little clown. And we don't see anything. Dang it. What's wrong? Well, you have to hit the Show Texture button to see it. That's not quite right, is it? Let's make it a little bit brighter by increasing the weight of the uh, diffuse in our uh, Arnold shader, which is called the base. We can go get back to our texture by hitting the little triangle there. The projection. Well, for one, it doesn't fit. There's this fit to bounding box button, because the projection, you can see it is down there. If we were to move this, you can actually see it moves the texture. But we're going to go in to our projection and hit fit to bounding box. That makes it fit. Now this is a planar projection. Fun, because it also shows up on the back. It goes, just goes straight through. That's probably not what we want. Let's try a cylindrical projection. That's much better. Oh, it's still on the back. Why? Because it doesn't wrap around all the way. You can use these to make it go all the way around. That's this button uh, slider down here. Now it does fit all the way around. It's not quite in the right spot. But it's there. We could move our projection up and down, but then it starts repeating in the other direction. So we can get it somewhat okay, but the hair down here is repeating. And we could scale it, of course, but then we started to get it started. It starts to get bald on top. Let's fit it to bounding box again, and let's try a spherical. That might be even be slightly better than the cylindrical, although the head does not properly wrap around. Because with cylindrical, for some reason, the U angle needs to be 180. Not quite fitting, but it works. Let's look at the other object, which we hid, to show you some of the issues of using projection. So I'm going to take the other, the teapot, and hit Shift H to bring it back. And the head I'm going to hide for a bit using Control H. The texture projection actually remains visible, so let's hide that as well. That doesn't actually work. So here's my teapot. So let's throw a spherical projection on that as well. Let's take the a material, assign a favorite material, its own AI standard. In the color, let's throw the same image as a projection, create this projection by right clicking, get the file, there's our file, and it doesn't quite fit, so we again have to say we want to do a, um, let's do a spherical and fit to bounding box. There we are. It's interesting, but look at this, what happens on the side. We can easily, we can most 
easily show that by rotating this projection a little. I'm just going to make it like this, so the eye is right there. If you have more complicated objects and you project anything that gets projected onto here also shows up there, or anything that gets projected onto here also shows up there. And the same with the spout. If we were to rotate the eye over the spout, the spout for instance, come on, go over the spout. See anything that's get projected onto the spout like this, you can sort of see how it gets projected. Also shows up behind there. So for complicated objects, simple projection is not enough to wrap the image onto the object. Mm -hmm.